Hi everyone, this is Cass from Cass's Creations and Boom Gel Stain. I'm going to do a really quick video of a flip cup using our Boom Booster Drops, which is our cell enhancer, and then a balloon dip or a balloon kiss. So I did do one recently and the actual video stopped recording for a period of time and it was a big boo-boo, but anyway. So, um, for this, I'm going to use, I'll just talk you through the colors. This one is Mallee Ring Neck Blue. Such a beautiful color, but all the colors are. These are our Boom Booster Drops. So I'm just gonna pop, there's two drops have gone into there. So we always want our Boom Booster to be sandwiched in between colors. So there's a little bit of native violet purple. And I'm just going to pop a dash of white because our native violet purple is dark. It's so, so highly pigmented. It's just stunning. Um, then I'll pop in, this pink is Lily Pilly Pink mixed with some pearlescent pink. And this is our Mulga Parrot Green. I'm going to pop just a little bit of pearlescent pink in there. And this is our Tree Frog Green. Another beautiful colour. Okay. Um, just pop in the rest of this thing. I've got it. So that's probably a little bit too much product there, but... We'll just use the last of it okay so I've popped my colors into the cup I've added a couple of drops I'm just going to give it a quick really gentle figure eight stir I don't always do that um, and what I'm going to do I'm just going to pop down a little layer of white because I gave it a little stir I might have mixed some of my boom booster drops to the surface and I don't want that being the first thing that comes into contact with my canvas if I do, if the Boom Booster Drops are the first thing that comes into contact, you get some repelling or pitting, and I don't want that to happen. So, let our colours run. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, now it's going to start raining or hailing by the sounds. Oh. Okay, so I'm t normally I'd let that sit a bit longer, but I really do need to rush this now because I can feel the weather's going crazy. Um, I'm actually just going to put a little bit of white around here because the wind's picking up and I'm in a real rush. I normally wouldn't do this. I'm doing this to speed things up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to tilt that out. Hope you can still hear me. Sorry, I'm gonna try and... There's always something that happens. Every single time. Okay, I'll just keep that going. I'm going to add a little bit of white to this corner and the rain is actually starting to come in under now. So you'll notice I'm using my fingers, that's because boom, it's non-toxic, it's water based and it wipes off really easy. Just some um, water but not off your clothes. Just remember it is a, it can be a dye for tie dyeing as well. So any non, uh, any porous surface it's going to stain it like open brickwork or clothing, something like that. Let's just speed this 
this up. Oh, <laughs> now my roof's going to start leaking. My husband's actually sitting here next to me. I've put him on strict instructions that he's not allowed to say anything. Okay, I'll just let that corner drift out just a little bit. So because I've added the Boom Booster drops, if I torch it, I'm going to get a whole lot more cells. If I don't torch it, I'm still going to get really gorgeous cells. Like it's not um, something I have to do. I'm going to do it because I'm doing the balloon kiss technique. So with the balloon kiss technique, it always looks better if there's lots and lots of cells. So I will torch it, but usually I wouldn't. I would actually just leave it and the cells will just come up on their own. As you can see, gosh, sorry, I get carried away and you're probably out of view there. All right, I'm gonna leave that little negative space area. So, it's quite cold out here too. So the cells aren't coming up quite as quickly as what they normally would. But you can see that, we've got some cells happening. Look at those colors. So I'm just going to give it a really quick torch. And then I'm going to leave it for a few minutes. So here's my torch. I'll just give it a really quick torch. Oh, it's so cold and windy all of a sudden. All right. So I'm, that's a lot of torching. I think because it's so cold, it's taking a bit of heat to get things happening. All right. So we're going to leave that. We're going to, for a balloon kiss, you actually want your um, your paints to settle. So I want my boom to settle and stop moving because of course it's fluid art, it's going to move a bit, but I'm going to leave it to rest. So I'm gonna pause the video and we'll come back to when I start doing the kissing. So at home, if you're doing this, you can tilt out your design and when you're, ha when you're happy, just leave it for like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, we're back. So, I'm loving this area here where I've got lots of cells happening. Not so much in here, but that's a good thing about a balloon kiss. You actually get to play around with the areas that you don't really like. So I hope you guys can see that and see the colors. They're so beautiful. I now wish I had have added more pink, but I'm hoping some more pink will come up as um, I do the kissing. So it's only set for about 10 minutes, but it's really cold out here. So I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but we'll try. Okay, so this is just um, one of the little tiny water balloons and I've just popped some air into it. I'm not very good at this. Myself, I sometimes struggle with this quite a bit. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start off here and what I'll do at the end, I'll spin it around so you guys can see what I'm seeing but I'm gonna start here. And it really does look nice if you get some cells that you're kind of um, stretch into the pattern or design. So I don't like this one here, so I'm gonna add another one there. But you'll see the difference when I show you See where I didn't have any cells? So I think cells actually just makes it look a lot better. Um, and you end up getting like these blooms and little fairies or butterflies. Happening. I'm just going to do a gentle one here because I don't like that. Just a little one. Actually, no, I'll go here. Oops, let's see what I've done. Okay. And sometimes I'll have two different size balloons. So, like, 
if I had a bigger one with me now, I would actually use a bigger balloon for this area here, but I don't, so I'm just going to have to make do. And everyone does these differently. They look quite plain when you don't have the cell stretching into them. So that's why I would have liked a bigger balloon for that area. Okay. So I'm happy with that. That should come down into itself, but I'll keep an eye on it and see. I just haven't let it rest long enough, I don't think. And if not, I can actually just, sometimes I'll pop some extra on here and re-dab it, which I'm probably going to do. I am going to do it. So on my balloon, I'm just going to put a little tiny dot of white. I hope you guys can see that. I don't want to do it on top of my canvas in case I end up making a, and I'm just popping a little dot of Mally and I'm actually going to re-push that. Um, Julie Cube does lots of balloon dipping and she is an absolute whiz at it, I kid you not. And I've never seen her have these issues, but I get them all the time. So she's just the queen of balloon dipping. Okay, I'm probably gonna do the same with that one because I just don't like the colors there. All right, so I'm kind of happy with that little area. So now I'll come over here and the edges and the corners do tend to start drying first. So that's often where I'll start. Yeah, see that's, I'm not happy with that either. I've just got some paper towel here. I don't know if you can see it and I'm just dabbing my balloon onto it. So, again, I'm just going to, yeah. there's not much blue there. So I've got my balloon again, I've put a little bit of white and then Mally on here. And I'm just going to see if I can incorporate this a little bit. I have to smush it around a bit to try and incorporate that colour. Don't worry, although it looks a bit odd now, once that dries, it'll actually look really cool. I'm just going to put a little bit of white down on my little table spinner here, and I'm going to pick it up, and I'm just going to dab it in there to encourage that to come onto itself, and it will. Okay. Now, here. Why is this not working today? Oh my goodness, maybe I'll let it sit for too long. Okay. I've got some sterling wax white and a little bit of purple on here. At least you guys now know what to do when there's lots of boobies happening and it's not going the way you want it to. You just got to watch my videos. Okay, that's a bit better. That'll come into itself. Right, let's see if we get some more going here. I can already see it's dried off a little bit too much there, so. I'm just going to add a bit of purple. Just here. Okay. 
Ja. It's gonna feel better again. So not happy with that, but anyway, I'll keep going. So I don't know why I'm getting that centre pulling, whether I've let it set too long or not long enough, I'm not really sure, but it's all fixable. And once it dries, it doesn't stand out as much. It actually blends in really nicely. Um, I'll give you guys a quick look of what I'm seeing. So I'm kind of liking that little space. I like the negative space that I've got just down there where I've got the white. So I'll just have a look. I'm not happy with this area here. And so I'm going to just try and introduce some pink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna go straight down onto that. And a little bit of purple as well. just redo this oh, that goes. that's a bit better I've still got some on here so normally I might have to do this once or twice but for some reason today do it more often and I'm redoing it here because I want to introduce a different color but you can see I've still got quite a bit of product in that center part okay I think I'll just redo this one and then we're done so I'm just going to directly add a bit of so I'm just not happy because there's my other colors aren't coming through as much I think I added perhaps um, two thicker layers of my green colours because they are stunning and I do love them. It's a bit better. I'm just going to do one more up here and I'll leave that purple on there. Okay, I think that's done. I'll spin it around. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm just going to do one more little one here. And then we'll be done. And again, it's so I can introduce some other colours. So I'm just going to push down on there. I'm doing, I'm pushing a couple of times just to blend it a little more. because of the way I've introduced the colour and that will level out if I just encourage it to come in okay I'll spin it around so you guys can see it I'll come and check and see that you can see it There we go. And I'll have the dry picks 